exploring Skopje. Okay, so this is the first video in English, as suggested by my best influencers. <laughs> okay, this is the old bazaar in Skopje, in uh, Macedonia, North Macedonia. And basically is uh, the reminiscence of uh, the Ottoman Empire that ruled here for quite some time. And um, it's also where the old city used to be. So you can see all the um, style that is coming from the uh, Ottoman culture and the Turkish uh, culture. Here you can drink um, chai, the chai like, um, like in Turkey. And uh, yeah, basically you can uh, see all these kind of things and yeah, your shops and stuff like that. Okay, so this is the shift hammam. Um, basically, is the construction is uh, Ottoman. You can see that it's a hammam because of these um, glasses, these circular glasses that basically all hammams had, and it's where the light comes in. Uh, it used to be for men and women to take bath, uh, which was called or is called now like Turkish bath. Well, those are the hammams. And now it's not operational anymore. Now it's uh, basically part of the uh, National Gallery of here of uh, Macedonia. And it has art from many uh, different um, artists and different uh, periods. And yeah, the building is obviously Ottoman. It was built in the 1500s and that's it. Okay, so this, uh, the Skopje Fortress or Kale Fortress Kale comes from a Turkish word which means fortress and basically it's very good for war because it has a very advantage point you know so it can you can really protect the city and watch everything around it uh, it's from the year 600 uh, but it has been rebuilt many times due to the battles and due to also earthquakes so probably it look uh, very different at the beginning so yeah that's what Okay, so this museum is for 300 dinners you can enter. Is the Museum of Macedonian Struggle. And basically it focuses on the uh, history of the liberation of the Ottoman Empire and also in the independence that they had from the Yugoslavia uh, Union or group or whatever. And uh, it's actually there where is the Declaration of Independence. You can find the document there. Okay, so just so close, very close to the Museum of Macedonian Struggle, you can see this, um, it's a memorial, it's a museum and a memorial for uh, the Holocaust. It's one of four in the world, there is only one, uh, there is only four in the world museums that are dedicated f uh, to the Holocaust. Um, basically here in Macedonia they uh, lost a lot of uh, the Jew uh, Jewish population. In relation with the total population, they lost a lot of numbers there. Okay, this is the National Theater and as you can see it has some status outside but also inside and basically there are actors and writers, playwriters that um, yeah, like very famous from here and you can see that it's, uh, it looks very good and it's because it has been uh, rebuilt and remodulated um, very uh, early because it was it had a problem like the previous um, National Theatre had a problem, I think it, it burned down and then they uh, built this uh, on top of it and very recently they also updated so it looks even better than before. Cool. Okay, and this is the Museum of Archaeology or the Archaeological Museum and inside here you can find artifacts from the uh, Roman Empire from Alexander the Great period and also from the Ottoman period and it's very close from everything very close from the bridge from the theater from the um, fortress everything is just in one place and you can see this bridge that is just amazing too in order to cross uh, the Varda river there are many bridges but uh, none of them like the art bridge Basically, it has status of prominent artists from Macedonia and um, it looks amazing. It's really very good uh, design and it's quite new actually. Okay, so after this, since you can see it's like very uh, warm day, so I will just go for a beer in that area, which is basically an area for chilling and, uh, you know, just having a rest. And that's uh, what we're going to do now. 
Okay, so coming from there, from the promenade area where there is the cafes and everything, you can see the stone bridge and you're gonna arrive here, which is basically the heart of Skopje, which is basically Skopje Square. And you can see the most important uh, Macedonian in all times, probably, which is Alexander the Great. And you can see this sculpture that is relatively new here. And uh, well, it's very big, it's eight, eight stores big. So it's um, basically as big as most of the buildings here or bigger in some cases. And yeah, it looks uh, pretty impressive for sure. Okay, so for those that don't know Mother Teresa of Calcutta, she wasn't from Calcutta, she was from here, from Skopje, um, Macedonia now, North Macedonia, uh, but uh, her roots are Al Albanian, so she was uh, basically Albanian, and she used to speak Albanian, obviously. And this is a memorial, but also a museum on uh, honoring her. Contrary of uh, what many uh, Albanian are, she was Christian, not Muslim, and she used to pray uh, when she was a kid. She used to pray here. The, the, the chapel used to be here, and they did this memorial with part or part of the area where the chapel used to be. Um, it's a museum, a memorial, and yeah, Mother Teresa was born here. Okay, so. To finish this video, I just want to show you the museum of the city of Skopje. You can see there, there is a clock, and that clock stopped at 5.17, which is the hour when an earthquake, the time when an earthquake struck in 1963, uh, which basically devastated the city um, immensely. And actually, there are many, uh, uh, many streets that have the names of the countries that helped during that uh, time, during th that time of disgrace. Uh, in the YouTube, you will find a lot of information in the uh, episode of that uh, museum, which is great. Uh, it's really, really interesting information. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, tour or whatever. And yeah, see you around.